testing a temperature controller for a water bath. And the idea is that the thing has to work, has to stabilize the temperature on 38 degrees Celsius. Uh, it was made or it will be made for photographic purposes. Developing a color dia film. Anyway, um, I did quite a few experiments. Uh, I found, for instance, that you can use a diode, silicon diode. When it gets too warm, the say the barrier voltage changes, uh, and also uh, that means that th there is a changing voltage drop in a very small um, say uh, reach temperature bands and this is a circuit from the 1960s I found it in um, uh, radio or electronic experiments magazine on worldradiohistory.com I adapted it because uh, they used here in this part of the circuit a tube. But the idea was to use, say, this transistor here, and that's a germanium transistor, the AC187 or the AC188. Uh, I changed the circuit, by the way, so perhaps that's, that is uh, um, not relevant or it is in a such a way relevant that you can use both the AC187, that is an N NPN, germanium transistor, and an AC188, that is a PMP germanium transistor. In the original schematic they used the AC188 or an equivalent. Anyway, I use an NPN transistor and here is that whole circuit. I'm not going to publish it now because it is uh, in a very not mature state. It has to be tested over and over. And because th these photographic bars need a very precise temperature, 38 degrees uh, uh, plus uh, 0.1 degrees or minus 0.2 degrees, uh, I will only publish it when it works properly. Now the water gets far too hot. I've used here a baby temperature meter. That's useful because 38 degrees is is more or less, and perhaps I'm not uh, saying the right thing, but anyway, it's around uh, the temperature of a human body when it is healthy anyway. Uh, here the circuit I only pen over for demo um, demo things to show that uh, how it was made and now I'm, I'm t at the moment I'm aligning trying to find where this circuit switches off and on. And in the original 1960 circuit they told that there was that it was a very precise temperature within one degree and that's what I need and I uh, it surely works. I will give the link in the description to the magazine where I found it. Uh, but anyway um, there are now three potentiometers in the circuit and I'm aligning it say what will be the maximum temperature, what will be the minimum temperature, when does it switch off and when does it switch on. So when the here the transistor, the germanium transistor here gets too hot, the circuit must switch off. Uh, but of course we have here a Darlington transistor and we have here that first transistor, the germanium transistor, and uh, it's an analog circuit, uh, so no computers, 
no Arduino where we can set very precise uh, say switch moments and with analog technology everything depends it depends on the temperature it depends here uh, it depends on the properties of the transistors so I don't want to get too depressed about analog circuits but anyway let's see what happens when we, we so there are three potentiometers that all three have to be set to such a position where it works and now we can see here this damp uh, that's of course not good it means that the, the water gets far too hot and well I have to do something here with the potentiometers and I have to turn the potentiometer. Now it switches off these three LEDs indicate that the the heater here this is the heater this is the water bath uh, switches off but there are also other possibilities to switch it off this uh, potentiometer here can switch it off and this also so this is the very very first experiment where I will try to find out uh, the temperature how good this uh, germanium transistor can switch on and off uh, and what will be the proper uh, three values of the potentiometers to get it to a range where it precisely switches on and off around 38 degrees Celsius. Thanks for watching. Far too hot here. Anyway, very first experiment.